Hello, my friend. What do you do when it feels like everything is going wrong? Maybe you wake up in the morning and you didn't get for breakfast the thing you wanted for breakfast. And then you wanted to go outside, but it was cold and rainy, so you couldn't go outside. So you tried to draw a picture, but you didn't have the color crayon you wanted and it didn't turn out like you liked. And it just felt like the day was awful and everything was going wrong and the whole world was horrible. That happens to all of us sometimes. That's how Joseph felt at the end of our story last week. Remember what happened? One day everything was fine. He was his father's favorite child, walking around in a beautiful coat of many colors that he loved. And then the next day, his brothers get mad and sell him away to strangers who take him to a far away land and they make him work really, really hard for people that he doesn't know in a strange house. And he's very confused and scared because he doesn't understand why any of this happened. I bet he felt very sad. I bet he felt homesick and lonely and missed his family. But things didn't end there, like I said last week. Let's listen to what happens next. Joseph trembled in front of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Last night I had a strange dream, Pharaoh said. I summoned you because I hear you understand the language of dreams. It is not I, but God who will reveal the meaning of your dream, Joseph said. Hmm. Seven fat cows came out of the river followed by seven thin cows, Pharaoh said. And then the thin ones ate up the fat ones. Hmm, Joseph thought about the dream and then he said, for seven years there will be plenty of food, Joseph explained. And then for seven years after that, not a drop of rain will fall and there will be no food to eat. If you store up grain and food now, there will be enough for people to eat when the drought comes and the food can't grow. Pharaoh saw that Joseph was wise and he made him governor of Egypt. After seven years, just as Joseph said, there came a terrible drought and there was no food in the land that could grow. But Joseph had been leading the people and getting them ready, so they had stored up food and they had enough to eat. Now Joseph's brothers didn't know the drought was coming, so they didn't have enough to eat. But they heard that there was food in Egypt, so they traveled all of the way to Egypt to beg for food, and they came before the governor and bowed down. Then. They realized it was their brother Joseph. They trembled because they were afraid that he would punish them for the way they had treated him back in their home. But Joseph, Joseph's love for his family was stronger than his anger at his brothers. Joseph threw his arms around his brother and kissed them. He said, what you intended for harm, God intended for good. God has used us to save the world from hunger. Bring our family to live in Egypt where there is plenty of food, so they too will be safe. The end. Things get really hard and sad sometimes, but they don't stay sad and hard forever. And Things don't stay happy and easy forever. There are hard times and there are easy times, sad times and happy times. But if we let our love be stronger than our anger, like Joseph did, even in the hard times, we can bring God's love. We can work for good. We can help people like Joseph helped people. Let us close with the prayer at the end of the page. Dear God, 
Let my love be stronger than my anger. Amen. This story comes from the Children of God Storybook Bible by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Illustrations for this story are by Nadine Wickenden from the United Kingdom.